Mikhail, could you tell me about the Open Maps project? Uh, open Street Map is yeah. a free and openly editable map of the entire world, built entirely by volunteers. You're one of the co-founders? Uh, it was founded by Steve Coast in 2004 and I've been involved for, I don't know, about longer than I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> What's your vision? I mean, what do you hope to achieve through this? Um, really the goal is a complete free geographic data set for the entire world, a place where individuals, companies and governments can uh, keep geographic data in the commons yeah. because it, it's, it's such a, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the vision. It's important. It's important. <laughs> yes. How, how do you go about getting this uh, data in the commons? Volunteers? Uh, corporations? There's a, few, there's a few different ways. Um, we started off by um, surveying using consumer-grade GPS units. Sorry? Consumer-grade GPS yeah. units. So these are off-the-shelf GPS Cost units. About? You can get um, a very good GPS unit for about $200. Um, they're even cheaper. Um, and the OpenStreetMap Foundation, which I'm a, a board member on, we have a project called, a program called gps to go So we actually uh, distribute GPS to uh, mappers in the developing world to uh, who may not uh, be able to afford a GPS. So uh, totally, uh, if anyone has interest in that, they should get in touch. Um, so we take GPS, we walk, we bike, we drive in cars and collect GPS tracks and points of interest. Yeah and then upload that data into uh, basically a wiki where we can edit that okay. into a, a map which could include roads, okay. places of interest, uh, land use, any kind of geographic okay. data. That's one way. And then another way uh, is by tracing aerial imagery. Yeah. So we have agreement with Yahoo Maps to derive geographic data from their API. I see. So we, you get satellite imagery and you can just draw, see and draw the roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the third way, increasingly, is because OpenStreetMap is growing so rapidly and gets a lot of media attention in some places, yeah. we can go to governments which are already holding geographic data or companies like A&D, uh, co countries like Canada have donated all of their data. There's a company called Plan.at uh, uh, Plan in, um, in Austria which donated all their geographic data. So we're using the leverage of the OpenStreetMap project and our 100,000 registered users to get governments to um, adopt open geographic uh, data and open licensing of their data. What's the situation in India like? I mean, how many volunteers? And um, India is just getting started. We um, we had a, a tour of India in February. Uh, Skylar Earl and I spent a month traveling seven different cities in India, wow. um, kind of doing advocacy, running mapping parties, and building a nation community. There were people here already, um, and in S several cities, there's kind of very active volunteers, Chennai and uh, Bangalore and uh, Pune and Mumbai and Calcutta, all these places have mappers, but we're um, still building up a network and still uh, kind of uh, riding on the coattails of the free software movement in in India, which tends to be kind of the core group any place. Mm -hmm. So um, it's still in the beginning stages, but uh, things are looking very positive. What are the plans from here on for the future? The, the main thing we're, the, the foundation is looking at now is sort of scaling up the project and scaling up the foundation in order to meet the needs of the project. So we're growing very rapidly, exponentially, really. And over the next year or two, we could easily hit a million registered users. And so that brings up all sorts of issues. How do we scale the community? How do we scale the infrastructure? Um, how do we raise money? Um, so that's kind of my focus lately is thinking about how we build an organization which is able to really grow along with all of the interest and, and contributors that we're going to get from here on out. Thanks so much for your time and I'm sure, uh, you know, I wish you all the best in the project. It's really important. Thank you very much. Thanks.